Hello guys, here is a quick update video to end the week. Let's take a look at what's latest at Starbase, updates on Artemis 1 mission, and some other space news. There is not much exciting news to report from the Starbase since Booster 7's rollback to the production site. Crews have been working on the orbital launch mount adding upgrades and testing the Deluge system. It is not exactly a Deluge system. SpaceX calls it Fire X and Detonation Suppression System. Gaseous nitrogen and water have been seen spraying out from the nozzles fitted on the orbital launch mount. When a super heavy booster fires up all 33 engines, the amount of heat and pressure released will be enormous. So, this suppression system will be an important addition to Stage 0. NASA has called off Tuesday's attempt to launch its moon rocket, the SLS. NASA officials announced earlier today that considering the safety of its staff and the rocket due to Tropical Storm Ian, expecting to hit the state of Florida next week, they have decided to stand down from Tuesday's launch attempt. But, the team is still yet to take a decision on whether to roll back the rocket to the much safer vehicle assembly building before the storm makes its landfall. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency in the state as Tropical Storm Ian gathers strength over the Caribbean and is expected to bring heavy rain and hurricane force winds to the state next week. If SLS gets rolled back to the Via B, the next launch attempt may slip to November. Seriously, is SLS a cursed rocket? But in my opinion, they have to roll back the expensive rocket back to its shelter for safety. If any hardware gets damaged from the hurricane, it may delay the whole Artemis mission pretty badly. Relativity Space conducted back-to-back -back static fire tests on its first stage of Terran 1 rocket. The company is pushing for its first orbital flight later this year from the Launch Complex 16 in Cape Canaveral. Terran 1 is powered by 9 Eon 1 engines on its first stage booster and one vacuum-optimized 1 Eon vac on its second stage. According to the company's website, Terran 1 is the largest 3D-printed object to be flown into space. Today, United Launch Alliance successfully launched a U.S. spy satellite and ROL-91 mission from Space Launch Complex 6 at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. This was the last mission launched with a Delta IV heavy rocket from the West Coast because United Launch Alliance is all set to introduce its next-generation rocket, the Vulcan rocket from next year. SpaceX also launched its record 43rd mission of the year today. Another batch of 52 Starlink satellites atop a Falcon 9 lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida. This was the fourth flight of this booster, and it successfully landed on the drone ship. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great weekend guys. If you live in the hurricane-prone area, please stay safe.